already in God bless. So I had this dream on the 10th and I had recorded it at first, but I didn't know that the music in the background was that loud. It got louder during that video. So that's why I went ahead. I'm going to re-record this. But in the dream, I had a card to this makeup company and I thought that I think it was like the more I spent then I would get money back and so nothing was happening I wasn't getting any money back so I called the company and for some reason I was able to actually see the lady I was talking to so I don't know if that was something I could see in the spiritual realm or I was doing some sort of like FaceTime thing but it wasn't a normal FaceTime like we have so that's what I'm saying it's a sort of FaceTime and I talked to her and I was like, I don't understand. I'm not getting any money back. Nothing is happening. And she was like, well, our policy is 60%. Something about 60%. I don't know if you get 60% back of what you sell. That's what she's talking about, how much you sell. And you get six, either you get 60% back or they give you money based off of 60% of the year and they base it off of that so i can't remember what the 60 percent was for but at the end of the day you get money based off of how much you sold not how much you bought so and she said it restarts every year and they don't even start giving you money until the second year and so i was like what and she was like well people are selling things on social media and things like that and i can't remember if we were still talking on the phone or not but i some point in the dream i was able to see like visions of people using social media to sell products and i knew that they were just using doing this to get money to do a money thing so in the dream i saw this and i was like if i were to do that i would have to do it on a separate channel because there's no way i can do a makeup channel on my god channel that's just not right. That's literally why I, I was like, that's just something not right about that. <laughs> like, it's just not right. And then I was like, yeah, if I make a separate video or like a separate page, I was like, and then I like drifted off and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do any of this. I'm not going to try and get money back from this company um, because I just don't feel right. I don't know why. I just don't feel right. And it's funny because it's the second dream that I've had like that when I was like, I just don't feel right. I'm not doing it. And then sure enough, after I said that, that's when that, yeah, I think I was still on the phone with the lady because she said she was like, you get money back for the company. So whatever money they give you, you can only spend on that company. So then I woke up. Now I wanted to explain something. Now I've talked about this briefly before that they are using social media to sell things that people there's influencers that are saying well this is my daily routine and my makeup and then they'll post a video later on talking about this is my daily routine with completely different makeup products and it's like you switched up your product or your schedule that fast no you didn't what happens is a lot of influencers what they will do is they will buy a product and then they will send it right back in so not only are they getting the money back from whatever product they're using, they're also getting money from every single time. They're getting money based off of their views, most likely. Now, my views aren't turned on to give me money. So that's that's separate. So that's why I'm saying most likely because people can turn that off. And we're not supposed to judge by appearance. So everything I'm saying is a most likely. OK, and so pretty much. Because this is what can actually happen. You can get money based off of your views. You get money because at the bottom and the description box they'll put links to the items now here's a difference so i am in the process of working on a bible routine video and i plan to put in a description box i didn't decide it until after i recorded it everything that i was showing so like i was showing my devotion color book i showed my this thingy where i put my bible in and i showed highlighters i literally plan to put in the description box a link to that item on Amazon so I am not getting any money I'm not signed up to it there is no oh if you put this certain code in you get 50% off or anything like that it's literally just the link to the item in Amazon but there are influencers what they will do is they will put the, first of all some influencers will say if you comment a certain word there is a there is a 
software that if you comment a certain word and they can sign up for this not only do they can they write off using the software on their taxes so let's say for instance it, it costs twenty dollars a month they can write that off on their taxes so they get money back from just using that that software already and then also if you type that word the software it will detect that word and it will send you a link to their thing so you can only get that item from getting it through them if you don't know how to screenshot the item and then just look it up on Amazon, which is what I do because, you know, that's just what I do. Anyways, um, so they can get money based off commission from every single time you do that. And like I said, I have talked about this before, so I'm just like repeating everything I said before. But having this dream, it was confirmation that I definitely do believe that I do need to address this and talk about this because a lot of people are really falling into this. So, like, for instance, I know someone that was adamant, that was like, I need to get this product for my face. I need to get this product for my face. And I was like, well, I don't feel right because, like, I'm in my 20s and I've never used anything like that. Like, what? And they were just like, I need to. I need to because this YouTube person said that, this YouTube person said that. And I'm like, I just don't feel right. I'm not going to do that. And then sure enough, that's when I found out about all of this stuff. And the person I'm talking about, they also found out, I think... I think they were told by God or something they found out right before I was able to tell them like, hey, I just found out all this information. And they were like, yeah, I stopped using those things because I found out that it's actually really bad for your skin. So and that's why that's why another reason why I think this is so important to talk about this, because a lot of people are putting products on their skin that is super expensive, but it's really, really bad for your skin. I understand that it is a skincare and things like that like for instance the 10 year olds at sephora like when i was 10 my face care routine was a face cloth some soap and some water and a dry towel and that's all she wrote i didn't even comb my eyebrows i didn't do none of that why because i'm a kid i am a kid okay and then also growing up my mom has always taught me how to do facial um exercises bear with me guys it's gonna look real crazy but anyways so you just like open your eyes a lot open your mouth you know things like that and my mom she would do like this and really stretch it out and that's just something that we just always learned and i don't have to buy anything i don't have to put chemicals on my face um and that's just how that was because people are not understanding that the world is trying to grow up these kids and then also we were made in God's image. And I understand you may say, well, it's not that big of a deal. I've talked about this before. Anything that you say is not that big of a deal is most likely a big deal. And I definitely believe that this is a part of the agenda to destroy the image that we've been made in God's image. Because you've got 10 year olds putting acid on their face. Do you honestly think that they're going to, they're, they're going to be okay? No, they're not. And they're only doing this because of social media. And that is what my dream was showing social media. Now, one thing that I did see that went crazy was the Stanley Cup. Stanley Cup went crazy because of social media. And they did the same exact thing. Like if I were to make a video like right now, and if I just had like a Stanley Cup in the background, I can write that off of my taxes. I can put that down in the description box, even if I'm not talking about it. I can put that down in my description box and I can get all the money that I want back from it and commission and everything like that. So you have to understand the love of money is the root of all evil. Now I said, do not judge by appearance. I'm not saying these people love money. I don't know. Maybe they're literally just doing this because it's a way to help them and they're not doing it in an evil way. Like I have heard of some influencers that literally will post things and be honest. They're like, this is honestly my daily routine. This is honestly what I use. So that's why I'm going to put it in the description box. And I'm going to tell two birds with one stone. And I'm going to get some money from it. But there are people, majority of people who love money. So they do not care. They don't care about your 10 year olds. They don't care about you. They don't care at all. All they care about is making money off of their stuff. So yes, I even saw a video of this lady. She had a dress on or not a dress. It was a bedtime thing and she still had the tag on why because she can easily return that back in put that down in her description box now like i said i'm not judging by appearance maybe she accidentally left it on but i'm just saying people do do this so the best way not to fall into this is to ask yourself do i need this so it's funny that i'm making this video because i just did my makeup and i have a makeup bag right here 
So, first of all, do I need this? Now, this is my beauty blender. It was not that expensive. I did not need a super, super expensive beauty blender. I just needed something real quick, okay? It's not that expensive. This right here, I used to comb my eyebrows. I found this on Amazon. I did not need to get a super expensive one that everybody's talking about because that's not what I needed, okay? I've had these brushes. I think this high school. I don't know. But... Even this, I didn't really need to this day. I still don't need. I normally use my eyes, I mean, my fingers a lot. But it came with a whole set. It's super waste of money to get a super expensive brush by itself. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. Just because this person said this, this person said this. Just get a whole pack off Amazon. Get a travel size, okay? It's cheap. All you need is a little brush, okay? Who cares if it breaks off every once in a while? It's a lot cheaper to get a whole pack and then rebuy it again later on in your life, okay? So, um, another thing is like eyeshadow palettes. I've seen people be like, I've got 20,500 million eyeshadow For what? I love this one. I have had this eyeshadow palette, I think since eighth grade. This is my go-to. It's a natural look. This is what I go to. Now, granted, a lot of times I will wear different colors and things like that, but I found eyeshadow palettes that had most colors. I do have two other ones in this um, because my mom had got them for me, but if it was just my own money, I'd be like, I'm just going to just chill with this, okay? Because <laughs> it's not... It's not that necessary. Now, granted, I love my mom. Thank you so much for giving me the eyeshadow palette. I do use it a lot, especially recently. I have been putting more color on my eyelashes. I mean, on my eye, eyes. But I highly doubt my mom did research on social media and was like, oh, well, everybody's using this, so we're going to get this. And that's the, that's the whole point. I'm not getting things because I... Everybody else is saying it. Like, for instance, this is a primer. This is what's important. I want to talk about it, Okay. I got this primer because the makeup that I would put, like I put makeup right here, foundation, and I put makeup here. Today I'm not wearing anything right here, but I'm wearing something right here because I got a chemical burn and that's why I started putting makeup here, okay? I had foundation for years as well because I just didn't need it. And then once I needed it, I started using it. So primer, I did not get primer because everybody else said you need primer. I looked into what is primer used for and... I well, actually I asked my mom. I was like, because you know, that's the whole point of having an older parent in your life is who've gone through these things is to talk to them. Like, hey, can you like explain to me what this is actually for so I can know what I actually need it for? I don't want to buy it just because everybody else is getting it. I want to get this because it, I actually need it. And I need you because I trust you over everybody else. I don't care what a doctor says. I don't care what a two year old or 12 year old say that's got 5 million different makeup. I don't care what 30 year olds say. I don't care what anybody says. I mainly care about what my mother says because you are my mother and I actually live with you. So I know I can trust you to give me accurate information and not lie to me so I can give you money somehow. Okay. So primer. This I got off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was less than $15, maybe 10. I don't know. I've had this also for over a year, okay? And the reason why I needed it was because when I would put on my foundation and powder and stuff, it's, it would dry out my face. So putting this underneath, it stopped drying my face. And that's the only reason why I got primer because I actually needed it, not because somebody else said I needed it. So that, it's pretty much the whole point when you get makeup that is things like that like a primer or a certain brush or a certain beauty blender or you know this product and this thing make sure you actually need it like obviously I don't actually need eyeshadow that's you know but it's just something that's fun so I'm gonna get it because I actually want it I'm not going to get it because I was influenced by social media i hope that makes sense i'm not influenced by social media to get these things and we have to be very very careful because like i said with the whole 10 year olds and, and sephora they're all influenced by social media and every single story i have heard about the 10 year olds at sephora it's not good it's not good so obviously something satanic is influencing these kids they're so rude to the employees or rude to their parents 
they're going with they're spending money left and right and and then they're also making messes now we don't have a sephora where we live at but see i don't even know the makeup companies here anyways but we have some other makeup company and i have went in there for my sister and i went in there with her because she needed something that she actually needed okay <laughs> and um i look around and i see it's all it's just dirty it's messed up that's dirty that's disgusting that's not like you're 10 years old and you're telling me that you don't have some point of buy oh maybe i should clean up for myself my my daughter's two okay she makes a huge mess and she cleans up right after herself a lot of times i actually don't have to tell her um sometimes i do have to remind her in the process of her cleaning up that she's in the process of cleaning up but to start cleaning up she tells herself so you cannot tell me oh well they're 10 years old and they um you know we need to be a little bit lenient on them they don't think to clean up after themselves and even then if that's the point then why are we allowing them to go into stores with what's it called american express cards to shop for themselves if they can't think for themselves to clean up after themselves if you cannot think to clean up after yourself then you obviously cannot think how to spend money and i actually saw that in person when we were at the store i looked over and i saw this group of kids and their parent was nowhere to be found and then she just showed up like at the end just to pay for everything and i'm like what so I hope you guys are really, really heeding this because this is a huge warning, okay? Back in the day, we did not use all that makeup like that. We don't need makeup like that, okay? Now, granted, like I've said, do not judge by appearance. There are some people out here who genuinely do need makeup, like okay, face makeup. Um, there's things that probably happened in their life. Like I said, I have a chemical burn right here, so that's why I wear makeup right there. I don't know what's going on in their life so please do not judge my appearance and then even people who don't have anything going on they just like wearing makeup um and there's nothing to do with being prideful it's nothing to do with having makeup as an idol do not judge by appearance so i'm not saying that at all what i'm saying is do not be led by social media that's all i'm saying okay and also do not judge people by appearance and that's what i believe this dream was showing me do not be led by social media and then also it was com confirming that people are doing this to get money and the love of money is the root of evil okay so all right so i wanted to add this in because after listening to this a second time i noticed that i said there's something not right about putting like makeup doing that when you also have a god channel and that's something too like i've seen a lot of people like this christian girl and that christian girl and like i said i'm in the process of working on a video of my bible routine and i even say in the beginning like i am not going to be going over a morning routine or anything like that because that's not right okay my video says bible routine not morning routine okay so and i've come across people who make videos like that and they'll be like well i wake up and i start my day off with god and then i go in the bathroom and then i do my face routine and then they show you all their products and everything like that and it's like that's not what this video is supposed to be for we're supposed to be learning about god why are you showing me what, what does your makeup routine have to do with anything or they'd be like well this is what i wear to the gym and it'd be like crop tops tight tight stuff like what are you doing if you're making a video that's t literally titled that is a connect with god routine or um even then that christian girl routine you should not be talking about your morning routine your gym routine what you eat in a day because we're supposed to be led by god so that stuff should be changing throughout your day anyways okay and it's also a huge distraction it is not okay i don't care if your meaning behind it you're just doing you don't have a bad meaning like you're not trying to get money out of people but at the end of the day we're supposed to be helping people be led by god okay so please stop distracting people by your makeup routine by your workout routine and your eating routine things like that okay focus on the bible your video says this is my bible routine so stick on your bible routine and leave it at that okay so yeah okay so God bless y'all. Have a nice one.